Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Welcome to another installment of Monday Night Magic. In this video we're going to be taking a look at one of the newly released uh, Planeswalker decks for Aether Revolt, which is the latest set of Magic the Gathering. At the time of this recording, its official release has only uh, been a couple of days ago. Uh, I don't really play Magic as much as I was a few months back, so I'm not going to be buying a lot of booster packs or like the bundles or anything like that, uh, at least until a set comes that really grabs my attention. Uh, I didn't really like uh, Kaladesh as much as I was hoping I would. I really enjoyed Shadows Over Innistrad and uh, Eldritch Moon. Uh, those sets were built around a theme that I really, you know, enjoyed with the kind of the gothic Lovecraftian horror. Uh, Aether Revolt and Kaladesh uh, are more based around uh, things like artifacts and uh, things along those lines is just not quite as interesting to me, but I do really love the Planeswalker decks. Uh, if you watched my previous video where I opened one up, uh, I think this is a fantastic product, uh, especially for newer players. Uh, people who don't take the game super seriously and aren't looking to get into a competitive level of Magic the Gathering, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic product. So, in, uh, in Canada, where I am anyway, it retails for $20, uh, and for $20 you get a 60-card Planeswalker deck. Uh, with a Planeswalker that is unique to this deck. So it's not going to be released in booster packs, it's not going to be released in any future products unless they are sort of a compilation of uh, these Planeswalker decks as far as I know. Of course that could always change. Uh, it also includes two booster packs. Uh, booster packs, again, where I live, retails for about uh, $5 a piece plus tax. So uh, basically you're paying $10 for a 60 card deck and then the regular price for two booster packs. Uh, I picked up both of the uh, Planeswalker decks that have been released so far, uh, but I'm just going to focus on one for this week and I'll open the second one uh, next week. Uh, the one that I got this uh, for this week's video is Tezrit Master of Metal. Uh, so the last set that came out uh, was the first set to introduce the Planeswalker decks, and it had uh, Chandra and it had Nyssa. Uh, I didn't open the Chandra one in video, uh, I just basically I picked it up when I was visiting uh, family and friends, so I already had everything opened up at that point uh, and sleeved up to, to play a few games with. But I'll open up both of these in videos, we'll start with the, uh, the deck itself, we'll go through the cards that are in there, and then we'll uh, have a look at the booster pack. So the first thing we got to do is uh, get the packaging opened up. All right, so we got the the packaging opened, and uh, one thing that I think is kind of cool because I like to keep the uh, the boxes for these decks is that even though it's the reverse order for the flaps, uh, you can actually reseal the box. So if you open it from the bottom, uh, you can reseal it uh, so that it stands up if you want to use it as a display piece. Uh, I do keep the other I do have the other two boxes from the Chandra and uh, Nissa decks as well, so it's just kind of nice that I'm able to do that without it looking horrible. Uh, of course, here we have the Tezzeret card. Uh, so let me just see if I can get that out of there without causing too much damage. <clears throat> Alright, so we have Tezzeret Master of Metal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so it's uh, like the other two Planeswalker decks. Looks like the mana cost is a standard six. Uh, four colorless, a blue, and a black. Uh, Tezzeret uh, starts with loyalty of five. If you do a plus one, Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal an artifact card. Put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So I guess you shuffle them and put them on the bottom. Uh, if you minus three, target opponent loses life equal to the number of artifacts you control. And uh, the ultimate, or minus eight, is gain control of all artifacts and creatures target opponent controls. Uh, so that one's actually pretty powerful <coughs> uh, as far as a... Uh, sort of the ultimate or the big ability goes. Uh, the previous two Planeswalker decks was interesting because uh, their ultimate, uh, the way to get that, their plus ability was like a higher plus number, so even when you pulled off their ultimate, you usually ended up having some loyalty left over. So it was possible to keep them keep them going even after that. Uh, this one here, you can actually just get up to the eight, minus it off, uh, and you gain that ability, which is pretty cool. And then we have the deck box itself. Now, if you didn't see the first video, uh, these deck boxes will actually accommodate the 60 card deck fully sleeved, which is really nice because a lot of the earlier products uh, that I've done videos for didn't really uh, accommodate sleeved cards. So it's nice to know that this one here, you can sleeve the 60 card deck. Now, if I can just get in here, that would be really great. So just I don't want to rip the rip the box here so this may take oh wait nope I was just about to cut the recording but I think we got it so 
All right, just a quick look at what else comes in here. So I got the two packs of Aether Vault, both have the same art on them. Uh, a little strategy insert for the uh, particular deck itself, and the quick reference guide, which I think is still the exact same from uh, like a year ago. So we'll set the booster packs aside here for a moment. And uh, I'm going to assume, just based off of the <coughs> Planeswalker deck, uh, or the Planeswalker's abilities, that there's probably going to be quite a few uh, artifacts in this deck, which makes sense. Alright. So, looks like they got the other uh, rares at the front. So, the first rare uh, that you get besides the, uh, the Mythical Planeswalker is Merchant's Dockhand. Uh, so it is one colorless, but for three and a blue, you can tap it. <coughs> tap X untapped artifacts you control. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. <coughs> so it looks like a lot of um, kind of um, card manipulation, uh, library manip manipulation, things like that. Uh, I'm not going to go through the description for all the cards, but I will at least go over the rares. Uh, so Quicksmith Spy, uh, three and a blue. Uh, it's a 2-3 creature. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target artifact you control gains. Uh, tap the draw card for as long as you control Quicksmith Spy. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Then we've got uh, Tezzeret's Betrayal. Uh, this is one of the cards, if you look at the number here, uh, the number on the left is higher than the number on the right, so these, this is one of the cards that is unique to this deck, along with the Planeswalker uh, card itself. So there are some cards that you can only get uh, through this deck. So this one here, uh, it is three uh, blue and a black. Destroy target creature. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Tezzeret Master of Metal. Reveal it, put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. So uh, usually the uh, exclusive rares are two copies of yeah so two copies of that and it allows you to uh, to get your planeswalker out which is pretty interesting uh, and then we'll just go through the other cards here we got uh, ornithopter <coughs> uh, augmenting automaton two of those uh, dehund operative two of those tezzeret simulacrum uh, so yeah so quite a few two Three, so three of those, oh. and some of these cards are from uh, Kaladesh as well. Uh, Dakura Pifel, uh, Treasure Keeper, Foundry Assembler, or at least maybe are they? Maybe not. Maybe they're all unique to this. Oh no, that's definitely the the Kaladesh set. So that looks like the previous one. Anyway, getting off topic here. So Foundry Assembler. Uh, Bastion Inventor, uh, Windkin Raiders, Ironclad Revolutionary, uh, Barricade Breaker, Fen Holler, Universal Solvent, Pendulum of Patterns, three of those, four of those, so a complete play set of those. Uh, implement of Examination, uh, Essence Extraction, Tezzeret's Touch. Oh, just trying to keep those from sliding around too much. Uh, so two, two of those. Uh, re reverse Engineer. And if you want to know what they do, you can always uh, pause the video. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to read through all the different abilities. Uh, I just kind of want to uh, show off what comes in the deck. Uh, Submerged Boneyard, and I think there's probably going to be four of those, which is a blue-black dual land. And the basic lands are the same as the, the Kaladesh. I don't think the second uh, set in a block prints new lands, so those all look the same. Swamps. And so that's it. So that's what comes in that deck. Uh, so a decent amount of artifact creatures and artifacts, which again makes sense for uh, the Planeswalker card that comes uh, with the deck. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how this uh, holds up in actual play. Uh, again, I just play sort of casually anyway. I'm not one that's interested in getting into uh, organized play, um, you know, competitive stuff like that. It's just not really my uh, cup of tea. I went to the Eldritch Moon pre-release and I went to the uh, initial draft 
uh, that happened when uh, Kaladesh was uh, officially released. So uh, I did go to a couple of those events and while it was fun, the other people that were there were definitely more uh, competitive about it than I was. So um, I just kind of went there to have fun and, uh, you know, get some cards. Uh, they were there kind of to win and uh, were very, very serious in a lot of cases. So uh, not quite for me. I just, like I said, like to have a little bit of fun. But that's the uh, the deck itself, and I really like the, the deck box. And again, uh, this is something that will accommodate a sleeve deck. I have to pick up some sleeves, uh, so I'm not going to shake that around too much. But now we'll just get to the last part here. We'll take a look at the two packs and see if we get anything interesting in those. Since they're both the same uh, pack art, we'll just start with this one here. And I'll be honest, I don't really know much about this set. I don't know which cards are like the, the sought after cards or anything like that. Just where I really don't plan on playing much more than these two uh, two theme decks. But we'll uh, see what we got here. So we've got uh, Alley Evasion, Aether Chaser, Leave in the Dust, Alley Strangler, uh, Scrounging Bandar, Aether Poisoner. Foundry Assembler, Implement of Improvement, which I believe was in the... No, no, it's definitely not in the deck, because that has white. Uh, consulate Turret, so three three artifact cards in a row. It must be, this is probably again one of those huge artifact decks, or sets I should say. Uh, Sweatworks, uh, Sweatworks Brawler, Scrapper Champion, so that is our first uncommon. Uh, efficient Construction is our second uncommon. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless thopter, thopter artifact creature token with flying. That actually might be good uh, with the Tezzeret deck. Uh, I don't uh, I don't modify the Planeswalker decks. Um, I, I did buy some previous decks that I tampered with for uh, Shadows Over Innistrad, but I'm not going to do that with these ones. I kind of want to keep them the way that they are, because it's where I play them with, uh, with a few friends. Uh, airdrop Aeronauts, and our rare is Quicksmith Rebel. So it is three colorless and a red. It is a 3-2 creature human artificer. Uh, when Quicksmith Rebel enters battlefield, target artifact you control gains uh, tap. This artifact deals two damage to target creature or player for as long as you control Quicksmith uh, Rebel. And then we got ourselves a uh, an island and a servo token. Okay. Uh, one thing I was kind of uh, wondering or kind of hoping with these is that uh, the, the packs, even if they didn't contain anything particularly great, uh, would hopefully be skewed towards uh, uncommons or, or rares that you could put in the deck itself. Um, just because I know that uh, Wizards of the Coast, I think they control more closely what kind of packs go into these products than anything in, than some of the other ones, but let's have a look at our second pack here. Alright, so well, another Alley Evasion, uh, another Aether Chaser, uh, Leaving the Dust, I think we got that in the last one too, Alley Strangler, well this is looking pretty familiar, uh, Scrounging Bandar, uh, Daring Demolition, I don't think that one was in the previous one, so that looks new, uh, Count uh, Countless Gears Renegade, so a Dwarf Artificer, Implement of Malice, Reservoir Walker, uh, Aeronaut Admiral, which is our first uncommon. Our second uncommon is a Treasure Keeper. Third uncommon is a Sly Requisitioner. And our rare is a Green Belt Rampager. So when it enters the battlefield, oh sorry, it's one uh, green uh, for a 3-4. When it has a battlefield, pay two energy. Uh, if you can't, return it to its owner's hand, and you get one energy. So I guess it's a way to kind of build up energy if you don't have it. Uh, and it looks like, oh, we got a foil uh, Hinterland Drake, which is just a common, but it is a three mana, two and a blue. For a two, three flyer, uh, Hinterland Drake can't, uh, can't block artifact creatures. That's not so great. And we got a Plains. 
and we got a Thopter. So that's it for the Tezzeret Master of Metal deck. Uh, I hope, you know, if you're interested in seeing what was in the deck, I hope this video helps. Uh, again, I really like these products. I think they're great for people like myself who aren't hardcore or, you know, seriously dedicated Magic the Gathering players. Uh, it's a great product for people who just kind of want to get together and uh, play with some cool cards. Uh, so I'm going to keep getting these, even if I don't really follow the sets too closely from this point forward. Um, but I, again, I really like these. I plan on picking up as many of these as I can get. And uh, again, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, come back next week when we'll open up the, uh, the second one in the set.